The Garden Tool Shed shown solves the problem of long-handled tool storage and at the same time provides a separate storage area that's attached to a garage or garden shed. And you can add shelves on one side to provide a place for fertilizers and chemicals. The siding of the shed is hardboard or barn siding and requires two 4x8 sheets. First, cross cut 24 inches off the end of one of the 4x8 sheets. This creates the top. Rip the 6 foot piece to the correct width for the sides and then cut their angled ends. Some of the framing is constructed by 2x2 or 1.5x1.5 inch materials and you can rip the 2x2s from 2x4s. Cut the front and back 2x2s to length. Fasten a side down over these framing members. Then measure and cut the bottom and top side pieces to length. Make sure the angles are correct on the top pieces. Note that the bottom pieces are 2x4s. Fasten these between the upright members. All siding should be fastened in place with non-corrosive fasteners. An air brad nailer works great for this step and then repeat it on the opposite side. Now stand the sides upright and cut the upper and lower back 2x4 cross members to the correct length. Position the cross pieces between the sides and fasten the sides to them with non-corrosive decking screws. Then cut and fasten the front 2x4 cross members in place in the same manner. Stand the unit upright. Cut and install the floor joist between the front and back lower cross members and then cut and install the 3 quarter inch floor over the floor joist, notching to fit around the 2x2 uprights. Cut the 2x2 door frame members and fit them into place between the front cross pieces. The tops are held in place with a block over the back of the top cross piece and door upright. The bottoms are anchored to a spacer block positioned between it and the side upright. Use a carpenter square to make sure the assembly is square. Then rip the front siding pieces and install them in place. Rip the upper and lower siding cross pieces and install them in place. Now rip the 1.5 inch trim pieces from a treated 1x6. Cut the front uprights to length, making sure that their tops follow the angle of the sides. Fasten into place with number 8 non-corrosive nails. An air nailer or coil nailer is perfect for this chore. Cut the upper and lower backside trim boards and install them in place. Then cut the front, top and bottom trim pieces and install them as well. Now cut the door siding piece to size. Then cut the inside uprights from 2x2s to the correct length and fasten the siding piece down over the uprights. Cut the bottom and top cross 2x2 pieces and fasten them in place. The door also has a 1.5 inch trim on the outside. Cut the side door trim pieces to the correct length and fasten in place down over the siding with number 8 non-corrosive nails. Fasten the upper and lower cross pieces between them. Angled door cross trim pieces add to the decor. Cut these to fit and fasten in place. Then hang the door and install the hook. You may desire to attach a latch or hasp if you prefer to have a means of locking the shed. Cut the interior rafters to size, following the angles of the front and back cross members. One method of doing this is to lay a rafter across the top of a cross member and then use a block of wood held against both pieces to mark the angle on the rafters. Install between the cross members. Install the hardboard top piece for the roof over the rafters. The top can be left as is, but it's best to apply roll roofing or composite shingles to match the existing building. Then paint or stain the rest to match the existing building. Anchor the completed shed to the outside of a building with screws through the top back cross piece into the building. Apply caulking along the back of the roof edge and to the adjoining building. Finally, fasten the top back trim strip down over the caulk and to the shed top and the adjoining building. Now, enjoy your tool shed and thanks for watching.